Hey there everyone, it's me, Haley again, and welcome to the next episode of my Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So as you can see here, we left off with Layla just getting out of bed, and as you can see, she's quite uncomfortable and really has to use the toilet. So how about we take care of that issue? Oh goodness, what's going on with the walls? There we go. So let's go ahead, let her use the toilet. And um, in the last episode, she also um, became pregnant for the first time, which is really exciting. Hopefully, she will be having the baby quite soon. In today's episode, I think an objective of mine is to definitely raise the household funds here because she doesn't even have an easel yet, um, so she can't really make money other than uh, gardening and scavenging for things around the lots here. So we're gonna have to maybe have her go fishing, uh, do some scavenging, that kind of stuff. Definitely try to get a little bit more money because another thing I want to do in this episode is give her house a little bit of a Christmassy festive makeover because that's what I've been doing in real life in my own room and my house um, is putting up Christmas lights and Christmas trees and just a lot of things that make the holiday season a lot more fun. So that's something I definitely want to have her do. And apparently she wants to eat grilled cheese for breakfast, which is fine by me. So I'll let her go ahead and eat. Um, I was also thinking of maybe giving her wardrobe a little bit, little bit of a Christmassy makeover um, with like some warm scarves or coats or something along those lines. So I might do that towards the end of the episode as well as um, her house so that we don't have another repeat of the first episode where the entire thing is just um, house building and sim making. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead let her finish her sandwich and then she'll be off to do some gathering of resources and money especially. Alright, so I've queued up some actions for her. She just watered her plants, now she's gonna go uh, dig up some other stuff. I don't know why my game is lagging so badly right now. Um, it usually doesn't do this, but Oh, well, maybe it was just a slow moment, because it looks like she's okay now, but, um, yeah, so she's just gonna go around harvesting some stuff, uh, gathering money, because that's extremely important right now. Um, her morning sickness is just finally going away, so that's good. hope she won't be uncomfortable anymore. Um, oh, for a second, uh, the little notification thing popped up and said she found a rose by digging up a, um, it's mineral deposit or whatever. Oh my goodness, stupid Sergio. No, I don't want to hang out with you. You didn't want to have my baby, so I'm kind of mad at you right now. Maybe another time. But also, how the heck is it already 9 o'clock? I guess she slept in way more than she should have. Um, anyway, as I was saying, the stupid little notification thing popped up and said she found a rose from digging up some sort of rock or something and I thought for I thought for a second it meant like a rose that you plant in a garden and I was like what but it actually meant the rose like crystal quartz thing I don't know anyway so I'm just gonna have her harvest up some more stuff we'll see what she gets maybe um, once she harvests this stuff and sells it she oh I guess I can't harvest it. Maybe once she sells some of this stuff she can get an easel and do a painting before she goes back to bed and sleeps until a reasonable time because um it's not very good to be waking up like a few hours before it becomes 8 30 at night. So I'll just send her around to do some more collecting. Um in the last episode, I think I said I was planning on doing one sim day per episode, but I don't think I'm really going to stick to that just because it would take forever for her to actually have a baby if I only did one day an episode. Like, it would be every three episodes she'd have a baby, and that's just gonna take way too long to progress through the challenge. So, um, I'll, I guess I'll just play until I figure out, like, a reasonable time like that I've been recording um, so and obviously if I did one sin day per episode this episode would pretty much already be done because it's nighttime so um, that's a little update on that information 
And also, I don't know if you noticed, but I did um, put together a new intro because I really didn't care for the other one. I was just um, kind of putting something together really quickly so that I could upload a video. Um, so the one that I have now, I uh, created it completely by myself and um, put it through like the animation program. So it's really, really cool that it was something that I learned how to do something new uh, and exciting. So, and then also in this episode, I don't know what she's doing. Oh no, she's she just threw up in this bush. <laughs> Poor girl. Um, also in this episode, I decided to put in some background music just because I wanted to try that differently as well and see if I like that or if I like it to be just um, me talking. So um, yeah, I guess if you have a preference or if you have any suggestions on what else I could do, um, just go ahead and leave a comment and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so now I'll have, let's have her come back to her house stop playing her game. Oh, she has one more thing to harvest. We'll just speed through that and then she can open up some of these rocks and stuff. Or maybe should she? Because I know you get quite a bit of money just from the boxes and stuff itself. And like these boxes are always those little figurines and I don't know if that's even really worth it for her to open it and get like $15 for a figurine versus $70 for this entire box. So I think I'm just going to have her sell the whole box just to make some quick money. Um, what's she doing now? She's going to watch Simder. Whatever that is. But okay, let's sell all this stuff she harvested because we don't really need it right now. Sell this. We'll sell her fish from the last episode. Actually, I kind of want to get a fish bowl put one of these fish in it just because um, they're both <laughs> pretty cheap and this little minnow is kind of cute and I like it. So I think we'll do that. We'll keep the minnow, sell these mushrooms. Um, these frogs were both super rare so if we breed them should come up with another super rare frog and we can sell that one for some good money. So there we go. Um, sell these flowers, sell this rock. This fish, don't really need these flowers, and then I'm not going to extract the fossil because it'll probably be like $10 and really cheap and bad, not worth it. So, okay, there we go. That's all the stuff that we can sell. Um, so now we definitely have enough for an easel, so let me go ahead and get that so that we can have her start making some paintings and some extra money. So, let's see, easel go. Does this yellow go with this yellow? Kinda. Is there a better one? I like that one more. Okay. We'll, we'll just put it in the corner here. That'll be good enough. And our money's back down to virtually nothing. So let me go ahead and have her get started. Let's do a medium painting and we'll see how it turns out. Yay, she finished! Alright, and she has to pee really bad. <laughs> oh no. Alright, she's taking care of that issue. Let me turn the light back on over here. That's that's a problem with the auto lights is that then the rooms get really dark, but I just don't like to have to pay that much for, you know, lighting on the bills because I feel like, I don't know if actually it makes a difference whether you auto light or not, but it's just something I like to do. But anyway. Really? Only 64 simoleons? She, that's like less than what it costs to make the painting. That's awful. <sighs> we'll sell it anyway. And you're supposed to go to the bathroom. What are you doing? Okay. Use the toilet. Sell the painting. What? For some reason, every time I try to get her to sell the painting, it like doesn't it like clears her actions or whatever I just always have to do it this way but it works okay and let's have her do a small painting this time maybe that'll be better for her skill level um, so we'll do that we'll have her and actually then after that we'll just have her go to bed so that she's on a regular sleeping schedule I think it's just cuz like the night before she stayed up so late um, 
making a baby. So, <laughs> um, yeah. She leveled up, so that's good. Hopefully this painting will be more than 50 simoleons and will actually have made a bit of a profit. It is! It's 71! That's great! So I think we made up the lost money on the last one too. So there we go. We sold that one. And here she goes off to bed after a long hard day of collecting. Well not long because she woke up at like 5 af in the afternoon, but a hard day of collecting things and making some money. So. And when she gets up, we should have her stop eating grilled cheese for breakfast. Maybe she can cook something. Let's see. Um, she can cook. Fruit salad would be good. So let's do a family sized fruit salad so that she does have leftovers. What's actually in our fridge right now? Just grilled cheese. Okay. So there's that. Um, we'll have her use the toilet and take a thoughtful shower so she has the inspired buff and then she can go ahead and do another painting. Let's do another medium, see if that turns out any better than the first one we tried to do. I'm pretty sure I gave her multiple pairs of pajamas. I don't know why she's only wearing that one continuously, but um, whatever, it's fine. I think in this episode, since I do have the background music thing going, I'm going to just fast forward through all of the um, actions that I don't really need to talk about. Um, just because I'm, I, again, I'm trying to do some new kinds of styles and stuff, see what works best for me. So, and I think I just touched the mic there a couple times. Hopefully I didn't, and hopefully there's no like awkward <laughs> sounds in there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep skipping through the actions that she's doing instead of just cutting them out of the video altogether. And um, I, I'll see if that is something that I want to keep doing. Oh, I forgot I gave her this outfit. It's super, super cute. Okay, let's just let her do her painting here. All right, here she is with her finished painting. How much is this one worth? 151, that's way, way better than the 64 from the last painting. So we'll go ahead and sell that one. And oh, I probably should get a fish bowl because this fish is stinking up her inventory. Who's she talking to? Who are, who are you, who are you talking to? I mean, it's fine that you're gonna go talk to somebody, but who in the world? Oh, a couple, a couple, um, city living people. Cool, maybe she can get with them to, you know, continue the challenge. Oh, he's flirty. Akira is flirty. Let's see, maybe we can plan on using him for the next, the next kid. Let's see, let's flirt. Oh, and just let's just see if he's into it. I think he is. Okay, so let's. I wanna. I wanna know if he's single, just to know if there's what the heck. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. Let me just. And she's just gonna continue to eat her food. Let me go back and do that again. Ask if single. Come on, come on, ask. I really don't need to be eating this right now. I mean, you're probably you're not that hungry, are you? No. Why is it not? Oh, the, the stupid action didn't actually go through. What the heck? I just want to know if there's like some other woman we need to worry about if we decide we want to make a child with you. Okay, good. He's single. That's perfect. So let's. Oh, we can feed him a bite of food. I wonder if this is like, is it a romantic thing or just a? Oh well, we finished it. So, doesn't matter, I guess next time we'll have to do that. Ooh, he's flirting back. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely into the whole um, baby making thing, hopefully. Let's exchange numbers, hopefully it's not moving too fast. I just want to make sure we get a solid relationship in before we go back to painting and stuff. Or, or not, because he's leaving. Did she just, ew. She just like farted right in his face as he was walking away. No mo no wonder he left. Okay, let's do another painting. We'll do a pop art one this time. Just to get, get that money, you know? Cause that's what really matters in life. 
she's still really inspired from painting her last painting, so that's good. By the way, I think I, I forgot to mention this, but um, I'm a little bit sick right now, and my throat is a little bit hoarse, so if, um, if I sound a little bit sick or keep having to clear my throat or something, um, that's why. And if my voice breaks or has broken and... Sergio, stop texting us! No, I don't want to go out with you. You missed your chance. Um, as I was saying, if my voice like breaks or I actually sound like a legit dying horse, um, it's because I'm sick right now. So, anyway, with that in mind, keep that in mind. Um, she wants to become best friends with Akira. No, you're gonna get him to make a baby with you and then like never talk to him again. <laughs> Cause that's how this challenge works. So let me go ahead, have her finish this painting. She had to have a potty break, which is understandable. She's, I think, in the second trimester now. Let me see here. Yep, second trimester, almost third. So, man, this painting would actually go good in her house, but we need money, and this is like a good painting. Ugh, I don't know what to do. I mean, here, let me frame it, and we'll just put it up just for now just because we like it and if we need really really need the money what is she doing washing the dishes what dishes oh okay guess i forgot to put that one into in the sink let's do a large pop art painting now this is a painting we can sell because it's kind of ugly no not time to sleep yet do one more one more painting i know you're tired but let's do an abstract and then when she's done with that, she can use the toilet and then go to sleep because poor girl, I've made her just like work all day. How much was this one worth? Oh, that one's not as good. Oh well, I mean, it's, it's something. I'm hoping that by tomorrow we can get a thousand dollars and then, or a thousand simoleons, and then we can, um, Put a few decorations in her house and then we'll end the episode by hopefully having a baby and giving her a little bit of a Christmas makeover. So that'll be really cool. Okay, Sergio, I need you to delete my number. I don't want to join your club. I don't want to go hang out at the bar with you. I mean, you completely blew me off last time and it was really kind of insulting. So I think you know, it, it's it's not gonna work out with us right now. Maybe give it a couple couple weeks. Let's, we'll see. Maybe we can try again. But for right now, just just stop. Just leave me alone. But anyway, she's gonna go ahead, use the toilet, eat some of her fruit salad that she made, which is right here. Grab a serving of that, and then back to painting. Pretty much, we're just gonna have her paint again all day. Do another pop art because those ones seems to be really um, money gaining. I'm, <laughs> I'm so bad at phrasing things. I'm also really bad at making sure the camera is actually pointed at the sim because I, in the last scene or whatever, um, again bad at phrasing things, <laughs> I was just pointed at the blank wall like that's really interesting, Haley. Keep that up. That's, that's really, really great. Oh, she's in her third trimester now, which is amazing, which means hopefully she will be having her baby later today or maybe middle of the night or something. So we basically hopefully have all of today to get up to around a thousand simoleons so that we can um, remodel her house maybe add some more furniture in because right now it's looking pretty bare like her bedroom is literally just a bed which is a little bit sad but I wanted to make sure I got like the framework of the house so that when I have to expand it it doesn't look like ugly and choppy um, and also I think I do want to move it over to this bigger lot because there's not really a lot of room to expand on this lot. Like I think it ends right about here. I don't know if we'd be able to fit bedrooms for seven kids <laughs> in this area. So and like an area for them to hang out outside and complete their interests and aspirations and stuff because that is something that 
um, in my version of the rules um, I have to do before I can move any of the ch kids out is uh, complete their aspirations and stuff. So yeah, definitely we'll have to move over to the bigger lot at some point, but she needs some more money first before we can move her because I do want to, I don't want to just like plop her house over onto the next lot like without gain, like earning it. Like I wouldn't want to just do it right now. I would probably have her move first, like save this lot to the gallery and then move household um, into that lot like naturally instead of just plop here you go <laughs> so that painting was 266 simoleons she is constantly using the bathroom which I guess makes sense she is quite pregnant so um, yeah see I knew I had other pajamas for her which these ones are so cute like they're they match her house they <laughs> match I guess what her favorite colors probably are because that her whole house is that color scheme so I wonder, I want to check and see real quick the reward store and what traits and stuff um, I can get. So, uh, always welcome, don't really care about that one for right now, or actually any of these that I can get, I don't really care about right now. Definitely will want to get the fertility treatment or whatever it is, the trait, so that, um, because it's, it's just a necessity in this challenge, so we'll try to save up for 3,000. Maybe I should start trying to do some more of these too, so. That one we might be able to do, just like some random person on the street, just be like, hey, listen to my ideas. And they'd be like, get away, you're really creepy. So let's put this in her inventory and she can sell it. And then we'll have her... Let's have her tend to her garden a little bit because I um, don't want that to totally get ruined, you know? Oh my goodness. So I am so, 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 so sorry. I accidentally somehow s forgot to continue recording because um, I had to pause the recording for a minute and then when I came back, uh, I forgot to click the record button again and we missed her giving birth to her first babies because they ended up being twins and now I'm so so sad that I some I missed that but um, anyway here they are this is Isaac over here and this one is Chandler and I'm so happy that she had twins without the fertility trait because that's just super amazing to me it never happens in my games ever like I always have single children even when I have the fertility thing like it's always super rare for me to have children that are just like single children I mean twins or more than single children but um she's feeling all confident because she just painted another painting but um I don't think we I really missed much like the last thing she went and did was she uh, watered her garden. She painted a lot. Um, she uh, had what is his name? Um, Akira. She had Akira over and flirted. Tried to flirt a little bit more. It didn't really work though. But um, and then she, <laughs> poor thing. She went to check in at the front desk and then they didn't of the hospital and they didn't uh, fix her needs fast enough. So she ended up peeing herself on the floor of the front desk. So that was really great. <laughs> she was extremely embarrassed after that, but the most important thing is she had her twins, uh, which was really, really exciting, Isaac and Chandler. And then um, now I'm going to go ahead and do the Christmas remodel of her house. All right, so here we are with our little tiny bit of a Christmas makeover. I couldn't do a whole lot because I again I only had about a thousand simoleons but um, I added this really cute Christmas tree that goes really well with the uh, yellow in the kitchen um, just right here in the middle of the house which is a nice little center focal point point. Um, and then there's this garland that I added pretty much everywhere because it was quite cheap and it looks really nice with everything in here. 
Um, and then I also added a wreath in the kitchen and a couple smaller wreaths out on the front of the house. Um, and then a couple little snow snowflakes just uh, because they're really cute. So that's all I was able to do in there. Um, and I also got a fish bowl so we can put our foul smelling minnow in there. Make it less foul smelling. Let's just go ahead and make it pop into existence there. There we go. So now um, to end the episode off, I'm going to go ahead do her quick little um, makeover for winter. Um, and then there's this holiday popper or cracker um, that would be a good way to end this episode. So we'll go ahead and do that at the very end. But here is her uh, makeover. Okay, so here we are. Here is her finalized makeover. So here she is. She's got this nice warm coat on. It's nice and it's a nice peachy color. It goes well with her. Um, and then her second everyday outfit. Um, it's basically the same as it was before. It's that green shirt. Um, and I changed the jean shorts to just jeans because when it's winter you definitely don't want to be wearing shorts. And I gave her also this nice warm wooly looking coat thing um, and some boots instead of sandals. Uh, her third outfit, the same dress that she had before but I gave her a cute beanie and some um, fuzzy socks with some cute wintry leggings underneath. Um, and I gave her for her fourth outfit, again this I think was pretty much the same thing, I just added a jacket and some boots. And then the fifth outfit, um, I changed pretty much completely, I gave her a nice red Christmassy sweater, this looked kind of Christmassy to me because it's sort of shimmery I think it's supposed to be. And um, some just some jeans and a little uh, flannel that goes really well with the, the top. And then I also gave her another outfit in the formal category, which is like a formal Christmas dress. So if she had like a party or something that she went to, this would probably be the dress that she wore. And I also ch went ahead and gave her another set of pajamas, uh, which I might go back and change later because I'm not sure if I'm too happy with it. Um, I don't really have very much holiday or Christmassy custom content as far as like create a sim. So this is what I had to work with, but I gave her the same leggings as I did with the um, dress and beanie outfit, but in a greenish color, and then some uh, red slippers and a red baggy shirt that is like her pajama shirt. So I think it's it's pretty cute. I might go back and change it again, but overall I'm really happy with all of her... What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why did this go back? Overall I'm pretty happy with her um, outfits. I especially like this one with the red. But, um, and I also really like the one, this one with the dress and the beanie because this is definitely something I would actually wear. Everything's just super cute and I really like it. So we'll keep this for the duration of winter and then maybe come spring I'll change it back up again. I just went back into live mode and I have no idea why she has this face but it's kind of adorable so I'm definitely using it for a um, screenshot. So <laughs> that's so weird. What in the world is she making that face at? Did she like fart or something again? Or, oh wait, there's a stinky plate over here. Let's go ahead and dispose of that. And to end this episode, which I think was kind of long actually, oh, <laughs> the babies are crying. You can, you can attend to them in just a minute, but here, go over here for now. To end this episode, we're gonna open this holiday cracker. That's so cute! I love that animation. A special collectible plushie? Oh my goodness! That's so cute! Let's put it up here by her bed stand. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! Okay, that's amazing. I'm so glad that we chose that to end the episode. Um, but now she's gonna go talk to and tend to her babies. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it'll really help out my channel. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, please be sure to subscribe. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.